For months, we've been tracking the rise in crime and drug use on Metro Transit trains and buses. Today, police shared their new plan to make public transit safer. WCCO's Muriel Mose shows us the changes you'll see this summer. The safety and security of our transit system is unacceptable. Drug use and other crimes have become synonymous with the Metro Transit trains and buses over the years. This impacts the safety of those who rely on public transportation, including Minneapolis public school students. It is the backbone of our community. It is vital to the lives of thousands and thousands of people. State Senator Scott Dibble is the chair of the Transportation Committee and supported the bill, allocating $2 million this year to improving safety for passengers and employees. Metro Transit Police Chief Ernest Morales says the most noticeable change you'll start to see is more officers. When we see a violation taking place, we are going to immediately enforce it. Chief Morales says he has three officers in training right now with the goal of adding 15 to his staff by the end of the summer. But law enforcement won't be the only way they're intervening on crime. Tutoring, clothing resources, counseling for families. A mother's love is one of the many community groups contracted by Metro Transit to help de-escalate with a soft approach. Number one does not, people don't feel threatened. They don't feel unwelcome, they don't feel out of place. They plan to connect with people in crisis on the buses and trains and give them resources that they need to get help. Not a phone number, not an email. We want to connect them person to person to the resources that they need. In Minneapolis, Mariel Mose, WCCO News.